In this video we're going to tie a fly called the gummy minnow. First thing we're going to do is just start with 025 lead wire and a Tiemco 811X saltwater hook. Then we're going to take our Vivas GSP thread and 100 denier and we're just going to cover all of that lead wire. And once you have it all covered, there we are. We can just whip finish real quick. Now, the first material we're going to work with is going to be some pearlescent crystal skin. First thing I'm going to do with it is I'm going to cut just a quarter block and then I'm going to taper taper that sheet. Just like that. Then you can peel the material away from your backing. Then I'm just going to take it and stick it to the side of my fly. And then I'll just kind of turn my vise and now I'm just going to fold it over onto itself and I'm going to stick it together with the bottom as even as I can get it. I want to keep that seam or that edge as even as I can possibly get it. And you'll just kind of continue down the minnow. Until you get down to the tail. If you get some air bubbles, it's not the end of the world, but they always bother me, so you can just take them and work them towards the seam. You can also try to pop them. Popping them is sometimes a little difficult just because the stuff is so gooey. It's hard to get the air completely out of it. Now you can trim it. The minnow is usually too long. I like mine to be about twice the length of the shanka hook. But you can trim it to whatever length that you like. And I usually like to round off this little piece right by the head as well. I just kind of round off those those edges. And just make it look a little little fishier. There we are. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take a piece of green same material, crystal skin, and we're going to taper this one just kind of how we tapered the pearlescent. Just like that. And I'll peel that away from the backing. And I'm going to lay that right in the middle on the top and then just pinch it to each side. Now I'm just going to continue 
to work this to each side on the top of the minnow. Until I get all the way back here to the tail. And once you get all the way back there, you're going to have a little bit extra. So you can then again just trim it. Trim it to length. Now the next thing we'll do is add the eyes. Take a couple of 3 16th inch adhesive eyes. and stick those into position. Now the last material is some clear crystal skin. Same material, just totally clear. And again we'll lay that right down the middle, right down the middle of it. And then just work it down each side. And that one we do not taper. We just leave perfectly square. Then you can trim along the edge of the pearlescent. So I'll just take my scissors and just carefully trim right along that edge. pretty sticky stuff. It likes to stick to your scissors. It really helps if you either kind of wet your scissors or if you use really sharp scissors that helps as well. Then, to finish off the minnow, we're going to take our Vivas thread, tie in, and then I'll creep up right along the edge of the head and just pull down and stretch that material down and kind of gently slide through it with your thread. Whip finish. And sometimes I'll even jump to just in front of it and whip finish on the hook shank. Just really make sure that it's not going anywhere. Now you can either trim out some of that material, or you can leave it as is. It's not the end of the world if you have a little bit of that extra 
thin crystal skin off the head. Sometimes I'll trim it a little bit. You can also wrap over it completely with thread, but I a lot of times will just kind of leave it. Then the last thing to do is take some Loon Hardhead and clear. Careful not to use too much. And we're just going to go right along the entire seam of that fly. That'll just kind of help seal in that whole seam. That's all there is to the gummy minnow. Fairly easy fly to tie, only a couple of materials, but it takes a little bit of work to master. That's the gummy minnow.